Maseo Woolard from yes. Desert Data Archive. Take it away. All right, very good. Like you said, my name is Maceo Woolard. Um, I'm the uh, founder of Desert Data Archive. Um, I appreciate you letting me come and present to you today. Um, a little about myself. Um, I am a uh, firefighter. I'm uh, 24 years on the department, and my uh, my brief that you have there gives a little about myself. The Desert Data Archive has been a complete bootstrap up to this point, and um, moving forward to So, Desert Data Archive, it's a progressive solutions are in the data management company with a definite, definitive plan to create a successful disruptive presence in the marketplace that will propel small business capabilities and their ability to compete by providing the latest highly specialized and essential data services. Now, to give you an idea of what we're looking at, um, I've been um, around the uh, tech industry um, indirectly and directly for going on 30 years. Um, I've had I've done a lot of uh, computer consulting um, from the very first TRS-80 that I've had up till now. I've always been very tech savvy and I've noticed some definite changes in the, in the uh, tech environment that I think that we can capitalize on. Okay, what we do is we provide enterprise quality services, support the wicked fast internet access to small, medium-sized business owners, road warriors, and collaborative group creators. Okay, most of the people that are out and about now, like yourself, people who are professional, they have different needs than they did even two years ago. Everything is moving to the cloud, and I'm going to go into that. We've um, things have changed. We've uh, moved, this probably brings either painful or fond memories to just about anybody who can see that. But um, things have progressed, they've moved along. That is no longer in that small format. People, people have outgrown that. The industry has outgrown that. There's a complete and total paradigm shift that's happening. So now, Probably like everybody here in their laptop bag has a external hard drive to accommodate all of that data. This is very, very commonplace, even for my high school students who made time to be here, my son and daughter in the back there. Our data has grown and is continuing to grow at exponential levels. So, question is, for the average person, the average business person, college student, everybody, even our grandparents at this stage, how do you get your data? Because we've outgrown these types of media from here to here at the speed of business. Right now, if you were to get off of an airplane and have a meeting in 30 minutes and have to go and download two terabytes of data from, like say for instance, this presentation, but I had, you know, um, I had a lot larger data load to transfer, where do you go? Right now, Starbucks is uh, kind of out the window. Things have moved way past that. Everything is moving to the cloud. Media, everybody here has a internet account. Everything, all of your data is having to do with that is in the cloud. And that's not going to change. It's just going to get bigger and worse. So the landscape, this is what we're looking at. These are just a very, very few of the common names that you guys are aware of and that you see all of the time. So, how did we get here? This guy doesn't even know how to get his grammar right. He's so bamboozled like the average person going to Starbucks trying to figure out how do I get my media from A to B or B to A and to Z on top of that. This is the new normal. Businesses commonly have at least 20 terabytes or more of storage, sometimes less sometimes more, spread out all over the place, okay? But the current trend is not to have your own big server format at the home office. A lot of people who have moved away from the corporate environment and are the road warrior, like our um, presenter who was here uh, before me, 
That's the new normal. So the businesses now are committed to moving to the cloud, moving forward, and they're committed to it whether they even realize it or not. Right now, data is embedded in the infrastructure of business. Everything they do, everybody from the truck driver to the person going and um, picking up people for Lyft and Uber, everybody is dealing with data, humongous amounts of it. And right now, the cell phone, cell phone method of moving is, is not going to cover it. And a lot of times, people have faster service on their cell phone than they do at home. But the demand, for access to interaction with the manipulation of larger and larger amounts of data, it just continues to grow. You've got five minutes, so I wanna make sure you're gonna to get to everything. So, problem. As a small business owner without a, without a uh, data person on your payroll, who do you go to deal with data-related issues? Not hardware, but data-related. How do I get my data to the cloud? How do I get to and work with Amazon Web Services? We provide that specific, Data specific solutions for a business to help the small business owner become and maintain their competitiveness. As a small business owner, who implements the solutions? Who do we turn to for ongoing assistance to those things that pop up? Most people here, when you actually think about it, that hasn't been addressed, and that's commonplace. But we act as consultants also in our services to provide that. So, Another problem is the small business owner who needs to move large amounts of data daily, weekly, or monthly. Do they have $2,000 to afford that kind of an internet service as a road warrior, new startup? Who has that? Where do you even go to do that? The solution is access, and that's one of the things that we aim to provide. We provide drop-in locations where small business owners, road warriors, and collaborative um, trade collaborators can move significant amount of data within a short period of time, okay? And by using the services that we provide, which are wicked fast internet services, get things done at the speed of business. Keyword, the um, market overview. Okay, we service those who have high data use demands. They run their business, run their laptop, like we all are right now, okay? They require high bandwidth services and they interact with cloud-based services. on a regular. This is just the new normal. So without having to go into much, the people here, all of you are very, I see very tech savvy and knowledgeable. This is the new normal. This is a huge paradigm shift. Less hardware is required. People can do their, create this whole presentation on their phone, do those kind of things, travel, whatnot. There's more database business solutions in the cloud. More data access is needed. The landscape is rapidly, rapidly changing, and some are just starting to catch wind of that. Apple is right now sweating, hey, wait a minute, how come we're not selling that many phones anymore? What's going on? A lot of the solutions are changing. So we provide enterprise quality services, support and wicked fast internet to small and medium business owners, road warriors, etc. The aim to be the 40 bit, 40 gigabit broadband solution to be to broadband what Starbucks is to the five coffee a day customers. Mr. I want to make sure you know you've got just about two minutes left. So Great. make sure you get to the point. Okay. Monetization by providing world-class con um, connections and workspaces. We're going to provide and create paradigm shifting disrupt that will enable everybody who needs to effortlessly move their own data. Most of the people here, you can handle your own data. You know what to do with it. You just don't have the way to get there. The broadband solution that we have put together, that's why we're here. We're planning to ex expand aggressively into the open market. It's word of mouth and all the other possible ways to radically market, guerrilla market. The, um, Everything under one roof, the support services, these are the things that are Desert Dot Archive. Okay, we're planning on um, building and uh, establishing and keeping a clientele that trusts us based on the fact that we have a cost effective value. 
we have the ability to dominate the market within two years if we act aggressively, if we act now. Services, within five, five miles of metropolitan areas, you can find one of our spots. That's where our goal is to get to within the first year. Most of the, most of the options, just like you would deal with a normal type of hotspot, will have a place similar to a Starbucks, but a place that you can actually go and get these solutions and make them work for you. We have an app that directs people um, GPS-wise too, that, and that will be in the app store within 30 days. This is the trend. Businesses right now, if this is um, just a magnification at the very top of the top four things. Their top priorities in 2018 are cloud movement, social networking, um, um, digitization, and redu reduction of operational costs. These are just some of the things. If you go down that list, you will see this is not new, new stuff. This is what's happening and happening with or without us. Market adoption, we have an aggressive plan for that. Competitive advantage. Right now, my goal is to be the first to market. Right now, the average hotspot is really sorry. You all know that. Go to Starbucks to go anywhere. It's like you really can't go and manage your cloud there. This is what we have. This is what we're aiming to do. Who are we? My name is Mason Wooler. I'm the vision holder, the founder of this. Our team and our strategic partners are extensive and growing. We have a lot in progress and a lot, of, a lot that we're working on. The... Um, Time to act is now. Okay, so and I'm gonna I'm gonna stop you there. We're we're about a minute over. So, um, thanks. I'm gonna ask that you uh, not or stop stop your sharing on the on the app so we can actually see each other, and we'll start asking questions. Go ahead.